Hey, Randall, at 5139, man, I need you to I need you to really make it look nice. Uh, put some mulch here uh, around the, um, give me a nice place right there with the mailbox. Trim these bushes, all these bushes, and just clean out and trim around here and trim this stuff back some. Um, this is the front yard. I'll, I'll send it back here in a second. Uh, hey, uh, John's here. Um, so like I said, trim these trees back or you can actually remove these trees. Put me a mulch piece out here at the mailbox. John's gonna take all the stuff in the shed in the back, so don't worry about that, but do trim up everything in the back. Put mulch where needed, uh, where grass isn't growing. Of course, you you know which house I'm talking about, um, but just get rid of any weeds here and trim back some stuff in the backyard. Possibly get rid of all this and put some mulch back here if you feel like that's would be better to put back here. And then, you know, just throw away this stuff here. Make these stones look nice. Probably mulch, mulch some of this area. And then just, go around and this will be one that you probably mow for a couple years so just make it look nice and trim trim up around there for me please hey everyone this is Randall with Elite Landscapes and you just heard some videos that I received a text message from one of my clients that has approximately 30 rental properties that we do work at here and there and take care of random acts. And uh, yeah, so these are some still pictures that you're gonna be seeing here of the areas that he requested work done. Now, he's not gonna spend a lot of money because it's a rental property, but he doesn't mind spending money to make it look nice and clean and uh, it's just good for the clients that he has ready from him. Um, as you see, we decided to take everything out after talking to each other again and walking through the property. And uh, yeah, there's a wall underneath all those bushes that you saw. Got rid of all those other stuff that was there. Cleaned it up nice and clean. And he didn't want to put any shrub replacements back in, so we ended up putting stone there. Fabric and stone. Nice and clean. Here you see the boys taking out that back dog area. Not a fun thing, but they handled it well. Thought they did pretty good. You know, we're using the materials that were on site. I went and bought those gray blocks just to burn the gravel so but they were inexpensive. They were in a runoff pile. So, yeah. There's the finished product in the back. Dog area. And, yeah, turned out okay. You know, if we would have had a lot of money, we could have done so many different things back there. But for rental property that he just wants cleaned up and, and nice for the new clients to move into, turned out pretty nice. We got some video footage of it. Last couple scoops of rock for the boys. There we go. And yes, all that stuff in the driveway and the sidewalk steps will be pressure washed on Monday, including all the house the gutters. Uh, the buildings in the back have mud and algae. They'll all be pressure washed on Monday before the client moves in on Friday. So yeah, overall, you know, we didn't have a huge budget to work with. We wanted the trees cleaned up. So we gave him a small cleanup spot. And like he said, I'll be mowing this place weekly. I've been there twice already. And uh, we'll keep everything under control weed-wise and stuff. And yeah, all that mud will be off the steps and off the driveway once the pressure washer comes through. 
and we did fabric everything in the back and we got rid of everything that was back there put fabric down put the gravel down you can see on the building there is dirt mud where all that mud used to be back there just splashed up on the buildings over time and the pressure washer and man will make all that nice and clean including this little area under here that desperately needs to be uh, washed for sure so there you have it boys ladies and gentlemen not a huge budget but you know seven tons of stone 70 man hours and it's done Hope you enjoyed the first video, Elite Landscapes, LLC. There you go. We're out.